Alright, so most people on YouTube who have like um, uh, a interesting cars or a somewhat interesting cars they usually, whenever they own a car, they always make a video about that car well I have been putting that on the back burner for about two years because I thought like uh, what is going to be interesting about this but I don't know, over the years uh, a lot, uh, people have been taking a somewhat interest in my car so I thought now, after two years, it's about time to make that video. So yeah, let me introduce you to my car. So this is my 2000 Crown Victoria, Ford Crown Victoria, P71 uh, Police Interceptor. Also called uh, CVPI, Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. There's a fucking squirrel around over there. Hope it's not gonna attack me. I bought this car uh, in uh, 2015, about uh, right about in June, like re really early early in the summer. Okay, now it's blowing really hard. I'm gonna wait it out. Fucking hell! So I have owned it for two years. Runs really really well. Um, most comfortable car ever been inside really easy to find parts for it the only negative side of owning a car like this in Sweden is that uh, we're about like 77 people in Sweden who own these cars so you know you're not gonna find the parts here in Sweden you have to you know you have to get them from America or like Canada or something like that if you can if you can wait for parts then you know it's fine no, it's, it's, it's not that expensive actually. First I was gonna buy a a uh, Chevy Caprice uh, from uh, Chevy Caprice Brougham or Brougham, what, how the fuck you pronounce it from year like uh, 87 to 90 but um, most of the cars that was for sale they were either like cheap but they were like rusty as fuck and like looking all raggedy or they were, were like totally renovated and you have to like pay a really large price for them so it was like nah I'm, I'm not gonna do that so I saw one of these Crown Victorias for sale and you know I have seen I have seen this car like so many times in like movies and TV shows and all of that but I never thought of the fact like myself owning one fuck off bug yeah I had to go out here because you know I'm I'm really really it feels really awkward to film like these type of shit like talk to the camera for me like being uh, where other, other people are fuck gunshots <laughs> no but uh, being being amongst like people and filming this type of shit like having people walk by and you know I'm here standing talking English to a fucking camera and people are like what the fuck is going on uh, but yeah so I'm out here like in the middle of the fucking woods I was on the previous uh, location first but there was like no air uh, cover so it was just windy as fuck so you know still it it might like blow a little here and there but uh, it's not gonna be directly the wind coming into the the, the mic but it's just gonna be all this fucking tree noise like right now yeah fuck off fucking hey fuck off dude yeah I live here in northern Sweden lived here all my life but I still fucking hate the bugs yeah. Fuck off! Oi! Ah, you fucking piece of shit! You're not on a roast, mother. Since it's a um, police interceptor, like all of the like the frame and the gearbox and all of that shit, like under there, all of that is reinforced. So you know it can, you know, take the more heavy-duty stuff. And um, the police interceptor, it is. Uh, lifted an additional like three inches so it can clear like uh, curbs and stuff like that much easier if it's a police chase but that is really nice actually because then I don't have to worry at so much about like because it's really we are really bumpy roads here in, in northern Sweden so you know I don't have to like uh, slow down to like riding like two two four 
two or four like miles per hour like every time it's a bump you know I can just run through it of course I'm not gonna do it because you know I'm not gonna fuck up the shocks just because I can you know I don't have to be so worried about like uh, fucking up uh, I don't know like the all of the body work and shit or yeah and um, the police interceptor version it has about additional like uh, 30 30 or 40 um, horsepowers compared to the LX version um, which is the like regular civilian uh, version of the Crown Victoria um, so yeah I have about uh, 260 horsepowers um, which helps out a lot since it's a really big car um, the, this is like way bigger than any type of car when it comes to like a Europ European standard there's no cars like these in uh, here in my hometown like uh, we are about I don't know if I mentioned before we're about 77 people in Sweden who own these and like I'm the only one in the northern parts of Sweden who owns one of these at least here in uh, my my state that is called uh, Norrbotten uh, the most uh, typical thing for like people in my age or even younger um, like, I'm, I'm 27 but uh, yeah people from like uh, from 18 to 30 and stuff like that or maybe even older than that most most of the people they focus on buying uh, like really new European cars like uh, Mercedes Benzes, BMWs, Audi they mostly try to buy like brand new cars and most of the times the sport versions so they have to pay about like at least over like 300,000 kroners but you know they have to pay like about six times more than what I paid for my car and my, my car runs really good and um, and I get typically much more looks from people than they ha get when they drive in their BMWs and Audis and Mercedes Benzes enough of that and we're gonna talk about like in more in depth of stuff with this car so the first thing we're gonna talk about here is the, the grill on the front of the car um, this wasn't the standard grill that I had on this car when I bought it. I had a... There, there were just these lines going here, like all typical. And you know, it was black. You know, I have photos of it, so probably cut in a photo right there. Yep, there you saw it. And I've always wanted... Um, or not always, but about um, a month or two after I bought the car. I started seeing all these honeycomb grills on like uh, newer versions of uh, the P71 so I always wanted these a, a grill like this uh, this year I finally bought one and I'm really happy that I did because it looks kind of more aggressive and just much more nice I don't know I just I've always liked this and I'm not I'm not trying to front and trying to act like it's a newer version of the car so yeah, I've had the car for two years now. So it was starting to get a, bit, a little bit tiring having the same old car the whole time. So I, I felt like I needed a little bit of a facelift or whatever you can say, something new to the car to make it more exciting for me um, to have it. Fucking bug. Fuck. Sorry. Nothing more to talk about the front. So I don't know, like uh, maybe we should look into the engine. the back of the car so yep so yeah here in the back looking really clean the Alex version they have the chrome chrome details here I don't really want that since the the police versions they always have the black so you know I'm gonna keep it black I changed this year these lights they were all red before like you can see that it's red and then it has yellow hair for the for the indica indicators I was having a tough time with the, the car inspection and shit like that so I changed it out because I don't I don't have to I don't want to deal with that again fuck off you fucking bee or whatever the fuck you are I'm gonna pop the trunk and see how it is in here 
So yeah, I don't really have anything special in here. You know, I just have the spare tire, a little box filled with, I don't know, spare oil, a first aid kit, rags and shit, um, a wrench. Uh, yeah, here we have a have a jack. And the spare tire actually is supposed to sit here, but we don't have, haven't really fixed this thing that holds it. So yeah, it's just gonna have to lie here. I don't really put too much stuff inside here anyways. I just put like my camera bag and like my skateboard when I'm going skating. So that was the back of the car. Uh, maybe talk about the wheels. So yeah, here are the wheels. I just have a standard, like the, the black police rims with the chrome hubcap. You know, I'm just keeping the theme going. That it's just the car is white and all of the small like details and stuff that's black. I don't really care about getting like some big rims. This is just standard. What is this like 16s? 16s. You know it's a really good ground clearance. You know, you know when you don't have really big uh, rims on it, you can just have like really bulky tires. So you know you can just run over whatever the fuck you want and not have to worry about you know getting punctures and and and, and other shit like that. You know. Let's talk about the inside of the car. So yeah, here on the inside of the car, I uh, have this <laughs> really, really bright light here. It's really, really comfortable car to sit in. Like, uh, I have six, like six fucking cup holders. I have two there, I have two here, and then back here, I have another two. Oh shit, that was a crazy fucking lens flare. <laughs> that looks fucked. I switched out uh, the stereo. I had a really like big bulky fucking uh, stereo, but it it only had radio on it, like no CD, no no aux input, anything like that. So I switched it to this Pioneer. Had to order a new panel because like this whole fucking area here, this is the big stereo, and the Pioneer is way smaller. I just ordered the whole panel so it has like this little slot where you can have stuff here works really well the, the stereo really good sound i have the aux input and yeah other than that like uh, really spacious car there's a lot of space in here so you know you don't really have to be crammed up or anything so it's like really just really comfortable here have this little Armrest comes down here, really nice. You don't have to put your arm all the way up there, you can just keep it there and just like you know, hold your wheel like that. I think that covers the inside of the car. And we can t bring up the exhaust sound. Like, um, I have the standard exhaust on the car, so it's not nothing too fancy about the sound. So, I'm just gonna um... I'm just gonna let it run a little bit, the car, so you hear the sounds, and I'm just gonna rev it just a little bit. Yeah, and now it smells really, really awful here. <laughs> Man, I was pushing out a lot of fluid. Damn, I didn't know that. So yeah, I never filmed like a walk around around the car, so I'm just gonna show you how it looks. No tinted windows. I just wanna keep it like that. Um, we had a searchlight. Uh, newer versions they have searchlights on both sides but you know I'm, I'm fine with just one um. so yeah so yeah that was my Crown Victoria uh, I hope it wasn't too boring to watch 
I really like the car. I don't really see myself selling it anytime soon. I believe this was running in in Florida. Uh, I heard from like some of the previous owners that it was a car out by Miami Airport. So yeah, if I'm gonna buy another Ford Crown Victoria, I think I'm gonna buy an Oreo when the when the back and the front are black and the middle part is white. They call that a Oreo. Um, or just, uh, I don't know, it would like it's nice to be have, a, have like a blue one. Blue is really nice on the Crown Victoria. But yeah, this is, you know, this, this has been going on for too long now. So I am just gonna, I'm gonna pack up and drive back home. And yeah, I hope this turns out to be a video and that I'm not gonna scrap the whole fucking project. So I haven't been out here filming, you know, just for nothing so see you later uh